Welcome everyone to my IDC 39 run. This time uh, it's going to be the first round and I'm up against Scorpio Maniac at the top of the screen who is playing a 100 cards 5 sieve Bonanza deck. And I'm at the bottom of the screen playing Live Water Dark Hydro Hurricane with Kick Assault. Uh, Scorpion Maniac is going to win the die roll and it looks like my turn 3 play is going to be an energy stream. Though, yeah, maybe I could have gone for Palolysis as well, but I don't have any Vapor or Rias to take advantage of its effect yet, so I'm just gonna dig for them with energy stream. Now I'm gonna play uh, Giga Balza to snipe something which was an APOC. And now he's just gonna play Energy Stream and kill it with uh, Crimson Hammer. And now I'm gonna play uh, Cranium Clamp and he discards two more Crimson Hammers. And at that point I'm like, bruh, how many he play? He probably plays. 4 Crimson Hammers, which is just crazy. Honestly here I would have charged the Miraculous Plague so then I could play double Palolysis to protect Ice Vapor. But it's gonna die to Miraculous Rebirth anyway, which was probably one of the worst cards he could have held for Vapor. Because now he has to set up his own Rhea, so I'm gonna be forced to play Miraculous Plague. And I'm gonna give him back uh, Invincible Abyss and Mana Bonanza, make him choose between Dark and Nature. And uh, yeah, he's gonna play Mistrias, so I'm now gonna play my own Mistrias. And he is gonna play Terror Pit, which is quite unfortunate, so I'm gonna deploy my second Mistrias. But he already got two draws from my Mistrias with his own, so yeah. And he keeps seeing removal for them. And uh, yeah, I'm in a really bad position now. Uh, now I'm gonna play Miraculous Plague because he's one mana away from Mana Bonanza. So now I have to do something about it. And uh, yeah, he's just gonna replay the Mystery Ass over and over. Uh, here I'm gonna play Giga Balza discarding Polmetius. And now he's gonna play Bliss Totem, which kind of seals the deal in my opinion. He's gonna be able to increase his mana a lot. Uh, oh and there's Ares, which is a very old choice. You don't see that card very often. People mainly opt for photoside and there's my third mystery as already he already got at least three draws from my mystery as which i deployed after his and there's mana bonanza Putting 12 cards in mana, so now he's at 24 mana. At this point I could most likely just scoop. I'm not sure why. Keep going, he even adds more mana, like... Yeah, he's on 27 mana right now. That's... That's more than half, half of most decks.
And uh, yeah, crystal memory, probably searching Invincible Abyss or something. Oh, and there's a Scarlet Sky Terror killing the Paleolysis. Of course, it's gonna have Scarlet and Invincible Abyss at the same time. And there's a Fortress Shell as well. And at this point, I can probably just scoop. And yeah, I finally scoop and we're gonna move on to the second game. Where hopefully I can set up my mystery as before he sets up his own. And uh, here I'm debating between Snare and Gigaslag and honestly I want to see if I can draw another water source because I want to keep Miraculous Snare for uh, for his own Rias or for uh, Bliss Totem but uh, alas I do have to charge it because otherwise I may not get a water mana for energy stream so uh, yeah energy stream here unfortunately he got fairy life on turn 2 and follow it up with energy stream at the very least I have a snare in hand now for his own mystery ass and yeah I'm definitely gonna definitely gonna use it on it now. But uh, he will most likely deploy another threat now. Okay, he was just playing uh, rebirth. I'm glad the Palolysis ate the rebirth instead of mystery ass. So I'm just gonna play Giga Balza and hit a Miraculous Meltdown. Which was a pretty useless card. Uh, yeah, maybe I should have played the Mystery as first. And I can even see a King Ripped Hide in his mana zone. With the nice alternate artwork. And now all of a sudden it looks good for him. I'm just gonna charge mana here and hold on to Miraculous Snare for when he deploys uh, Mystery Ass or something. Uh, Giga Balls I will snipe Pyrofighter again, so... All I managed to do this turn is disrupt his Meltdown combo. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna continue to charge mana here. No, he's gonna play Crystal Memory and search for uh, Mystery as of course. And luckily, I I did hold on to Snare. I took that Lara Gear back to my hand in less than a second so he could tell he was a misclick and now he's gonna play logic cube probably searching either mana bonanza or or energy stream something to generate him advantage and uh, yeah of course it's going to be mana bonanza and I'm just gonna draw Laura Giga. And now I'm just gonna play Bliss Totem here. Uh, next turn he can just play Mana Bonanza and also add 3 cards with Bliss Totem. Now he's just gonna look for a Mistrias and set it up. To be fair, he could have also just looked for Bolmetius. Here I'm just gonna play Energy Stream and look for an answer to Mistrias. But I don't have one. 
And honestly, at this point, I can just scoop. He has both Mistria assembly totem on the field and mana bonanza in his hand. I don't see how I can still come back from this. And uh, yeah, he's gonna add even more cards to his mana zone. He has like. 16 mana or something and uh, yeah I'm kind of breaking at this point while he runs away with the game and uh, there's a logic cube for lost soul didn't really need these cards anyway And uh, yeah, Ice Viper finally showing up. I'm not sure, I don't remember if I have uh, only one or two. I think I have two in this version. But uh, yeah, my main cards didn't really show up early enough, so. Yeah, what can you do? And uh, at this point, I am thinking already of conceding, which is understandable in this situation. Uh, but for some reason I still want to continue, I don't know why. But I don't think I'm going to want to continue for too long. Uh, and he's going to set up the Palmetius and even Ares, so... Now he has like over 20 mana or something. If he plays Bonanza, he's gonna have uh, more than more cards in his mana zone than most decks have in their decks. So yeah, I'm just gonna forfeit at this point. No point. But uh, yeah, that was quite an unfortunate start to this tournament. Uh, my deck should be on the screen for those of you who are interested. And until next time, see ya.